So my friend, you are an introvert. You don't have a friend. You don't have a network that's getting into your head. You're not progressing in life. You think you've lost. I'll tell you something. You haven't. And I'll share with you ideas from my own experience, how you can progress, even though you are an introvert and you don't have a big circle around you to socialize, to work with, to get things done. First thing you need to know, the world today is completely different than it was 50 years ago. So in the past, you had always these people who are ultra alpha leaders, personable, physically uh, present. They are canning. They know how to build circles, how to manipulate people, how to walk over shoulders, how to build a legacy for themselves. This is probably true for most of the business leaders over the past, the ones who run the petrol industry, the cigarette industries. These people are completely focused, goal-driven, and different animal. But today, the world is run by information. The world is run by social media. And the leading individuals today fit the profile that may fit yours, which are introverts. They are socially awkward. They are not very sociable. And I'm talking about the Mark Zuckerbergs, even people like uh, Elon Musk, etc., etc., etc. Basically, the people in technology. <laughs> even you can, we can't talk for, uh, further and we talk about the founder of Ethereum, for example. It's, it's a different game. You can still build something for yourself if you lack these skills. And I'm not saying these skills are not important. You need them. But don't think because you don't have them now, you can't start, you can't build, you can't change. Because you know what? You can. You have the opportunity. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So this is from the perspective of business. You can start and you can go big without having the traditional skill sets that you needed in the past. In terms of the personal friendships, there is actually an issue, an international issue where most people don't have a friend. So you're not alone. You're not alone. The world is changing. People find social interaction through fake social media interaction with people that don't know them, don't love them, don't care about them, and don't have probably anything common with them. It's very different. Probably my generation is different than the guys who are 10 to 20 years younger than me, but that's still true even for myself. The true friendships are built when you are really young, and that's always been the case. You have the same group you go to primary school, school with, secondary school, uh, A-level college, potentially university. These are the people that you can really be vulnerable in front of. You have complete trust amongst yourselves. You know, they will not use your weaknesses against you, hopefully. And that's not always the case, unfortunately. And that, that's why people uh, lose uh, friendships. This kind of a friendship, even that will be tested. If you are going to move up in the social ladder, in the wealth ladder, in the success ladder, you're even that kind of a friendship will be tested. And your best friends may become your worst enemies because your success and your brilliance will remind your friends that these things they can do themselves, but they don't do it. So they reflect their resentment towards themselves, towards you. And and this, if you talk to people who change the, your, their lives around, they all experience this. In today's world, if you have a friend that you can truly call a friend, you're lucky. I'll, t I'll give you that. You are a lucky person. What most of us can do is to build associates and these associates you build a friendship with based on the commonality on something could be you are both into cryptocurrencies into the blockchain space and you build that a friendship on that exclusively you don't talk about politics you don't talk about belief system you don't talk about anything else so you have a circle that you have that commonality with and maybe you have a circle that you share a wider set of ideals with like social issues religion gender discussions etc etc you could have that a group as well either way you need to keep a healthy distance the worst thing you could do for your social interactions is to be very close to be very vulnerable to be very open Keep that mystery. That mystery doesn't only work with romantic relationships, but also with the friendships and, and people generally. Don't be too open. Do, don't share your fears. Don't share what worries you all the time. Don't share your private life. Have that healthy balance between having an associate, a friendly person that you can comfortably sit and talk with without exposing yourself too much. Most people will listen to me. They say, what this guy is talking about? This is not healthy. This is not good. Go. Live 
life in the next 10 years, the way you think fits and see the issues and the problems that you will run to because you leave yourself too vulnerable, too exposed without putting controls and healthy barriers on your relationships. Social media in particular, you can take advantage of that and build real connections and real friendships and real relationships through social media with people that you have actual commonalities with. But again, that's risky. That's difficult to do. I was successful in that through my content, you know, I've been creating content since 2017 in Arabic and I've built great relationships with content creators, people in business, people who are close to the space that you could see that they, they are clear. They're not obviously just in, you know, an account without an open background on who they are, but I did build. So now if I go to Dubai, United States, any and most countries really, I'll have a connection and and associate a friendly person to use that networking uh, benefit uh, from working with them. And if you struggle with social anxiety, try to be friendly to people that you don't really know, people that you see in the gym. Smile, start with the obvious, the high hellos, bye, thanks. Then next week, talk about public things, you know, the weather, things that happen. Talk about something specific, like in the gym, for example. Talk about diet, talk about your splits, things that are you have nothing to worry about. That will build your confidence up and you may build uh, friendships. But again, like I said, I'll go back to the very first point I said in the video. You can build yourself and you can progress in life, even though you are an introvert and don't have much of connections that comes with time and life experiences i hope you found the video useful see you next time take care for now